Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give you a quick update on the chicks in the brooder. And we just moved them out of the smaller brooder that we showed you in our setup. And they're in our tried and true truck box brooder. So let me show you how they're doing. So we have them in the house in the truck box brooder now because they needed more room because they are four weeks old. However, there's a dozen in here. So they needed more room. Couple things I did want to say is the hemp bedding. I told you guys that it was pricey and it is. I did get a really good deal on it. And we went four weeks without having to add bedding to them. And there was no dust or dirt. It was really incredible. I mean, no dust or no odor. Really absorbent, really incredible. We would mix it around like you would deep compost some uh, litter in the coop and it worked out great. So now that they're in the larger brooder, they still have a heating plate. We will take that out tomorrow uh, because they're in the house, but I'm leaving it in tonight because the box was outside and we want to make sure the box stays warm and they have a warm place to go. But here they are. Let me see if I can get them here. So the black ones are the black Jersey Giants. Then the grayish ones with the white feathers coming out are white Jersey Giants. So we have four of each of those breeds. And they're kind of freaking out. And then we have four brown layers, which were like an assorted breed. So I don't know what breeds they are yet, but you can see they're not fully feathered yet, but they look really good. And they've been flying around, having a blast. And they say that the Jersey Giants will take a little longer to mature, but all of a sudden they'll surpass the rest. And I definitely see that happening because the two golden ones, there's one right there, ran under the heater, uh, were so tiny and yet they have grown up and they're actually bigger than a few of them. Now they're under there. But yeah, we've got our setup. We've got some grit because I've been giving them treats some good water and two feeders and it's been working out really well. So just wanted to tell you guys how everybody's doing. They're a little freaked out because we just moved them. All right, you guys, so there's an update, four weeks old and we're gonna keep them in the brooder probably another two or three weeks. And the reason why is because even though we're having a warm snap for the next week, the coop that they will go into, which is our middle of the road grow out coop, the run is currently underwater with all the snow. So it's, I don't feel comfortable putting them in there yet. I want it to dry out a bit. So hopefully it does that. And um, then they'll be fine. And then we'll put them in the middle grow out coop. So stay tuned. Have a great day. Take care.